that we may be guided into the love of God for all the world. Amen. For our scripture readers, the scripture readings this morning, we continue to study the book of Acts. First from Acts 4 verses 36 and 37. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. And from Acts 9, verses 23 through 30. After some time had passed, the Jews plotted to kill Saul, but their plot became known to Saul, and he escaped to Jerusalem, where he attempted to join the disciples. They were all afraid of him, for they did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas brought Saul to the apostles. Saul spoke and argued with the Hellenists, but they were attempting to kill him. When the believers learned of it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. And from Acts 11, starting with verse 19. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution of Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who, on coming to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. A great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in, Zer in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced. And he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, Barnabas brought Saul to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. A severe famine took place all over the world during the reign of Claudius. The disciples determined that according to their ability, each would send relief to the believers living in Judea. This they did, sending it to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. In Acts 13, we read, Now in the church of Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Serene, Menaean, a member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia. And from there, they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salimus, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogue of the Jews. And they had John also to assist them. Then Saul, also known as Paul, and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Perga and Pophylia. John, however, let them return to Jerusalem. But they went on to Perga and came to Antioch and Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. After reading the law and the prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message. Brothers, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul began to speak. When the meeting of the synagogue broke up, 
many Jews and devoted converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and blasphemy. They contradicted what, what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly saying, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us saying, I have set you, sent you to be a light for the Gentiles so, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. But the Jews incited the devoted women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. So they shook the dust off their feet in the protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. For the word, word of, of God, God in scripture, scripture, for the word of God among us, us for the word of God, God within us, thanks be to God. In Acts 11.26, the followers of Jesus, the people of the way, were called 